Hello guys, oh, welcome to this video and in this video I will give you a roadmap to learn data science. So if you are a beginner or an intermediate or just about to start learning data science, this video is best for you. As you know, data science is a very vast and complex field with so many different topics to learn and technologies to master. But if you are just starting out or in the learning phase, it can be very overwhelming to know where to begin and what to learn next. So every journey you know that begins with the first step and the in data science, the first step is to understand the mathematics, probability and statistics because these three are the main backbone of data science and analytics and all the machine learning algorithms as well. So in the first part, that is mathematics, these are the uh, basic topics that you need to learn and I also provide the links as well so that you can open these links and uh, uh, go through the st study material or videos to learn about these four topics. Then you need to go to the probability section and these are the like basic topics that, that you need to learn that uh, wh what is probability, what are like different kind of uh, distributions are there, what is condition probability, what is Bayes theorem just need to understand the basic concepts of these things and then you can go to the statistics part it is, it is divided into two parts the first is descriptive statistics second is inferential statistics so i also provided the links as well to all these topics to learn that uh, you can just op open these links and these links will give you a complete guide to learn all these topics like descriptive st statistics blog is there and precious statistics blog is there it is contain all the information with the coding examples as well so you, you need to not to worry about anything that what are the codes what are the distributions it will provide you a complete understanding about what is statistics in data science after doing the st statistics as well then you need to learn about the python language in the intermediate to the advanced level but and this course here will teach you the python in a very interactive way so this course is around four, four and a half, half hour courses there and this course will uh, teach you all about the python in a very very interactive way so that you are like very proficient in the python and then the next part comes that is data analysis and eda Data analysis is all about that uh, data loading, cleaning and pre-processing that requires the libraries kind of pandas and numpy. And this blog will help you learn about these topics. That how to do basic or advanced data analytics or exploratory data analytics. You can handle ev every missing data, every data cleaning, about statistical analysis, out outlet detection, correlation, everything is included in this this blog just go through it and learn all about data analysis and eda part then second part comes data visualization so once you clean pre-process your data the next part comes is to visualize the data with the help of matplotlib seaborn and plotly you learn about these uh, three out of one any kind of library and tr and try to be, uh, like uh, uh, build your own data visualization chart or graphs as well so after data analysis and eda the next part comes is feature engineering so feature feature engineering you can learn from this blog this blog will give you all about the feature engineering that how you can do feature selection extraction and codings scaling cleaning handling imbalance data skewness rare categories time seats expression everything is included in this blog so that you not not need to go uh, multiple sites to learn about feature engineering so after learning about feature engineering you are good to go to learn about machine learning algorithms so these are the like some kind of uh, uh, blogs that, that i just made on machine learning algorithms so that blog contain all machine learning algorithms from supervised to unsupervised to reinforcement learning as well so as you see that all these are algorithms are included in this blog as well so just go go through this blog and you will get to know that how each algorithm work 
and how to implement it in the Python using scikit-learn library as well. And I'll also like give you a video as well of the brief introduction of uh, regression and decision trees as well. So you can also go through this video to learn about all the uh, topics above regression analysis and decision trees as well. And after learning about machine learning algorithms, then the part comes to deep learning. So for deep learning, I give you a link of the course that is a deep learning specialization course on Coursera. You can just go to this website, enroll for this course and try to learn uh, this course. This course contain all about deep learning from the mathematical to the coding level questions are there. And these are some kind of uh, li libraries that are used in the uh, deep learning that is TensorFlow, Keras or PyTorch as well. And if you have interest in learning natural language processing as well, you want to learn or you want to like uh, work on the text data as well, then you can also learn natural language processing is there. This is the course for, for that natural language processing. And these are the like basic libraries that are used in NLP. And that is SciPy or NLTK. And after learning all these uh, topics as well, then the most important topic comes that is called MLOps or deployment. That you build a machine learning model, but you have to uh, deploy that model into the production as well. So for that kind of thing, you need to learn about how to deploy your machine learning models. And for that kind of thing, I just give a link here and that link will contain 10 MLOps courses as well. You can uh, learn from these courses that how, how to uh, how, how to uh, deploy your machine learning model into production whether they are ML models or on cloud or on like uh, uh, GitHub as well, you can learn from these courses as well. And the basic platform that are used to perform the deployment is the cloud platforms or on the GitHub as well. So after you learn about all these topics, then you need to continue your learning as you can participate in the Kaggle competitions. You can build projects on the real life problems as well. You can also build your own portfolio as well the, and also try to build a com community on LinkedIn and share your knowledge on the LinkedIn as well. If, if you are like building your own portfolio, then this video will surely help you as well because this, this video will uh, teach you that what mistakes you should not do when building a data science portfolio. So try to watch this kind of videos before building your own portfolio to be the job ready person. I, I hope that uh, this complete data science roadmap will help you in learning data science in a very interactive and very interesting way by building projects and assignments as well. So it also need a sheer dedication as well to learn data, uh, data science as well. So if you have that, you will be able to learn it in the three months and will get a job for sure. Thanks for watching and happy learning guys.